Hey Scorpio, what's Gucci? What's going on? How are you? Looks like y'all are just walking on down the street, maybe chilling to your music, just listening, not letting nothing get to you. All right, so I know that y'all might, some of y'all experiencing some other energy surrounding y'all or have been for quite some time, and y'all been kind of just trying to get through, and we gonna just check in on that and see what energy, uh, demonic, devil, fear, whatever it is, resentment, are you letting go of? Are you overcoming? Are you beating? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You might beat it with a stick. I don't know. But what is that energy for Scorpio spirit currently? Thank you. Ooh. The Ace of Stones. Whatever it is, you're overpowering it. You're loving on yourself. You guys are doing a lot of body cleansing. Some of you are cleansing your stones or replenishing any of your out, like your tools that you use and element with yourself to put you into um, alignment. You're being resourceful with the water, with the grass, with the birds, just with everything that comes in and using it as a vital source. On the bottom of the deck is the XX. I love this. Oh my God. Go ahead, Scorpio. I feel like that's the world card, but I'm just not sure. Let's see. XX. Evocation. The secret music that speaks to the spirit of things. Called to judgment. Things that emerge from the depths. Reawakening of a new awareness. Ooh. So you guys, whatever this is that y'all, the, the the past trauma or whatever that energy is, I feel like you're you're working your way through it. I feel like you guys are, you know what I'm saying, you, you're hearing something different. Some of you may be, be tapping into those newer vibrations. Maybe your skin is sensitive or your ears. You can hear the slight fine tune of things or just like you might even hear somebody talking and baby, that's not a person that's in front of you, but you know that it's happening. Happening, right and it's all because you're taking time to care and have a fresh new start with yourself so let's see I want to keep it on the thought process that this is something new for you and not you jumping into something new and then it turns out to be retarded because don't know I'm not in that bad way of that word but it don't turn out good so please excuse my language for that um, let's see what was this energy that was holding Scorpio back from this ace of stone all right you have the fool, which I think is your energy. You have the five of cups and the revert. This happened on another set of my cards. How did I do that again? Hold on, we're gonna redo this real quick, Scorp. Sorry, my bad. I messed up. I caught a foul on me. I did it. Why the devil just pop his head and like, boy, like, boy, or girl? Uh, hold on, y'all. I just don't want to read y'all wrong or give y'all something that's half empty, half good. Like, no. We want the real deal over here, right? So, what happened? Uh, what is this situation or this energy that has been upon Scorpio? that they are overcoming that's allowing them to receive this ace of stones in the upright spirit thank you thank you dang i feel like you kind of got hit from left and right here score i feel like you know, it's kind of like damn if you do, damn if you don't. On one side, if you make this agreement over here with this three of wands and build over here, uh, you're it's like you're attaching yourself to uh, a masculine energy that you may have some resentment or fear pertaining to. But it's like, and that's why I'm, it's, it's fear or something. Doesn't mean that this person is bad with the double card, but Capricorn energy. But it's like you don't know if you do that, what's gonna happen. Now, if you pick this other side where the stick is by itself, the wand is by itself, it's considered a bad judgment call, and it's the four of wands. It's a commitment. It leads to something more, but on the bottom of the deck, you have the world card, the tower card, and the eight of pentacles, and the five of wands. So it's like people not knowing how to work with each other in order to keep, you know, something sustained. 
Why is the why is the four of wands and the judge four of wands upright and judgment reversed? What was the bad judgment here? Hmm. So you could have invested in someone who is a bit controlling, who may have somewhat of a temper. Check out, I think it's the Leah reading. Um, this person could block you when you try to defend yourself. Um, they could basically like it's like they get really defensive and then they get real immature with the page of cups in the reverse like just saying things out of hate and nastiness they're not even looking at the judgment they, the judgment in the reverse is to their back what is the three of wands and the devil card this attachment over here and this could be same sex I'm not sure because yes there's two wands here and this part is overshadowing the female but this is a male holding the wand, so it could be that male on male. I'm not sure, but it's an untold story. So whatever this is, you don't talk about this. You don't bring this up. You keep this to yourself. You get defensive. You you're blocked up. You you block people off about it too. What is the devil card in the untold story? This is for Scorpio. It's the Queen of Cups. It's it's very emotional. This could involve a cancer. They could be really in their feels about this. Like they could be very hurt. And that could be what that devil energy is. Like somebody's hurt that this is something that's not coming out or not being spoken about. I don't know why this five of swords keeps staying on the bottom. So it's like you, you keep trying to block someone from communicating this. With or someone keeps trying to block you from communicating this. What is the judgment in the reverse with the untold story spirit? What is this? It's the nine of cups. Yeah, this person is prudent about not releasing this information. Now, if this is a same-sex situation, this King of Wands basically is in some type of commitment over here that they're that they've built in with the Four of Wands, but they're not actually like committed. Like they like boys. And then behind them, and, and, and like in this, they have a Queen of Cups who loves and cares on them deeply, like a lot, who feels a lot for them, who would even protect them. But this person also has like some type of masculine energy about them that they don't talk about. The Four of Cups in the, on, on the back, the Knight of Cups, and the Six of Cups, yeah. Maybe somebody came from a distance. They were sweet, kind, and loving. They gave, a, you know, an offer. And this Queen of Cups is nostalgic about it. But this person's kind of brute now. Why is this person so brute with the King of Wands, Four of Wands? The Queen of Swords. It could be how you talk. Maybe the things that you say to them. King of Swords, Queen of Wands. Oh, no. Y'all are time enough for each other. It's like... I, I went further. It's the Queen of Swords. She's saying something to this King of Wands. But then you have this King of Swords who's standing like, I'm on edge and I'm going to say something the minute she mess up. But then you got this Queen of Wands who's over here and she's checking that energy. She's that calmness of the energy. So it's like it's like you can go back and forth with somebody. You can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone. Dang. And what that's kind of making me feel like too, because this is all on the side of the commitment is that this queen of cups is in the background this queen is either a woman or it's a man back here they feel real hurt by whatever is going on maybe they're the untold story maybe there there's something about them that hasn't came out on the bottom of the deck is the ten of swords the hierophant and the five of wands somebody could feel highly betrayed by this and feel like they got thrown into some chaos and that could be why you, that could be, this, I could say that could be, there's no that could be. I asked the question about what you were getting through in order to get to this ace of stones, this ace of cups. You are, you have gotten through being the third party to somebody's situation or being in a commitment or a connection with someone who didn't know how to be committed or connected solely to you and had others on the outside. Yes. How will Scorpio know that they're hitting this Ace of Cups, this self-rejuvenation, this renewal of vitality, of self, of life, of love for themselves? How will they know? I mean, I just feel like you will be surrounded by crystals. You will be surrounded by water. You will be surrounded by incense. You will be surrounded by stones. All right. You have the Eight of Swords. 
the Queen of Wands in the reverse. And the Wheel of Fortune. So I hope that y'all aren't doing this. But if you are in this Queen of Wands in reverse energy and you're trying. I'm not going to say that. Capricorn energy with the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Wands in the reverse, and the Eight of Swords. This Queen of Cups, she feels trapped. Um, and it almost feels like she cannot. It's like you ever been in a relationship or committed with someone and their energy is so strong up against you that your spirit team don't even have room to be in that same room. Yeah. I feel like you don't want to put into this anymore. You find a way to keep it moving. Instead of trapping yourself, you find a way to break the spell with the Queen of Wands and reverse and the Eight of Swords. What is the spell here that that they were under? Eight of Wands. It was it's kind of like a quick, fast energy. It's like a talking energy. It's like a you know what I'm saying, make you feel good. Two of Pentacles. What else? In the strength card. It's like it's like energy that comes in fast. And and when you it's like when you feel good, you feel good. When you feel down, it comes and it could lift you up. It's like when you feel like everything is hard, it, it adds some extraness to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it adds some, yeah, some spice or, you know, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, somebody can feel good off of this, okay? So, with the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Eight of Swords out, somebody got mad or something because my joint said, we, we, like, <laughs> yep, ghosting it with the death card, rolling out, and if that Queen of Wands is coming to say something to you or to keep you trapped, you're already gone because you already overcame this. It's like this person, and I feel like, too, this Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords energy on this side with the commitment of this King of Wands they and King of Swords, they know about all of this. And at the end of the day, they keep playing into their connection and whatnot instead of just allowing things to end the way they need to. And in turn, they keep saying something that pertains to you where they're trying to trap you. But the more they try to keep you mentally trapped or in a place where you feel like you don't got nowhere to go, it's the more your power builds up. And the more your power is building up inside, that means that even up here, the above, the outer parts of you that 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 hold you together and keep you together, that joint gonna go run and jump on her or this energy. You see how that's happening there? It's like when the time is right, you won't go strike. That's all it's going to be. And it don't have to be you. This could be the energy from the above. And, and you know what I'm saying? Or your elements around you. Somebody going to end up feeling everything that they try to put on you. If you was having head pain, heart pain, neck pain, throat pain, stomach pain, kidney pain, booty pain. I don't know. Coochie pain. Like the pain was the pain. But they going to end up having to feel it, you know what I'm saying, on them. And with the Queen of Wands in reverse and going towards you, they could have wanted you to feel like you was burning down there. They could have wanted you to feel like your stuff wasn't working, you know what I'm saying, like you're out of commission or being like, I don't want that person's stuff to work because my King of Wands goes to that Queen of Cups, um, you know what I'm saying, that energy, you know, where they don't need to be. But your energy is what makes this person feel like a man, at least on the devil side of the energy, where they get in their lusty factors, that managed part of them is really showing out and coming out. So, um, 1343, that's what I have for you. Y'all have a good one, Scorpio.